One of the gaps in Flare is that there's really no options for embedding multimedia. However, if you're working with Camtasia Studio, if you produce your video as an express show format, it will include all the, the Flash Player buttons and, and the wrapper and so forth, and you can embed it directly as an image. So I'm going to show you how to embed that, that uh, picture. And we're going to treat the video just like it's a picture. Make sure it's a, a Swift file, by the way, not an MP4 or an FLV. And click OK. And there's the video. Now, if you look at the code behind the video, it's actually treated as an image. And you have to make sure that you retain the width and the height. Otherwise, the video will just kind of blow up to the full frame. So let's take a preview. And you can see that, yep, there is the video with all the buttons. And it retains the functionality here. The only thing that it doesn't retain is this uh, full screen. We don't have to hear that. So we can't really expand it. So that, that's somewhat of a flaw, and I'm not really sure why. But um, it is cool that you can embed them. Now, there is one other trick. You can actually put the video directly inside a drop-down hotspot. So if you go to Insert, and choose drop down text. Click OK. And then just take and copy the video. Basically put it as the drop down text. Change the title here of the drop down head to watch video. Now let's take a look and see what that does. It puts the video right inside a drop down hotspot. So, this is pretty useful so that your video doesn't take up a massive amount of space, but it's right there. And as long as the video isn't very, very heavy in size, very large in size, then it will, it will drop down fairly quickly. All right, that's how to embed a video into Flare. Remember, use the Express Show format from Camtasia Studio, and it will include the flash wrapper, the player, the button that, that you need to play it and embed it inside of a drop down hotspot to keep your help uncluttered and to allow allow the kind of movie screen to drop down and start playing for the user